Here we're going to look at examples of factorizing quadratic expressions. We have two questions here. In the first one, I'm going to use the array method to factorize 3x squared plus 10x plus 8. We know from experience that the 3x squared goes in the first box and the plus 8 goes in the opposite diagonal. We're looking to fill in the other diagonals. We know they multiply to be the same as this diagonal, so if we multiply 3x squared by 8, we get positive 24x squared. So we're looking for factors of 24x squared. But we know that the missing diagonal must add up to 10x. So if we think about it, we see that 6x plus 4x multiply to be 24x squared and add up to 10x. If we place the 6x and the 4x in either of the boxes, we get the highest common factor of the 3x squared and the 6x, that would be 3x. 3x by x is 3x squared. x by 4 will give us 4x and 2 by 4 will give us 8. So these are the factors of the quadratic expression, x plus 2 and 3x plus 4. I'm going to do the second question in two different ways. First, I'm going to use the array method. It looks complicated because the coefficient of the x term is negative 2 root 2. But let's continue anyway. We know from experience the x squared goes in the first box and the negative 6 in the opposite corner. When we multiply this diagonal, we get negative 6x squared. The other diagonal must multiply to the same total. We also know that we want the missing diagonal to sum up to negative 2 root 2x. So we're thinking of factors of negative x squared that add up to negative 2 root 2x. The factors at work here are negative 3 root 2 multiplied by root 2. We would see that that would multiply out root 2 by root 2 is 2 and 2 trees are, are 6 and we have the negative sign there. But when we add them, if you add 1 root 2 to and you're taking away 3 of the root 2s, that's the same as taking away 2 of the root 2s. So we could work it out this way. So you place either of these uh, terms in either box. And then we look for the highest common factor of the x squared and the negative 3 root 2x. Uh, x is the common factor here. x by x would be x squared. Then we would see that 3 root 2 is the missing part by x gives us that. And we see root 2 is the other missing part. So we could see the factors to this using the array method are x minus 3 root 2 and x plus uh, root 2. Now, if you're uncomfortable with this uh, method for this uh, awkward example, there is another way of doing it that I'm going to show you now. You could use the quadratic formula. So I'll do that now. So the quadratic formula says that x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. In our question here, a is 1, b is negative 2 root 2, and c is negative 6. And then you carefully substitute these values into the formula and evaluate this. So I'm doing it quickly here. Um, you're probably used to doing this, and you could use a calculator to evaluate it. We should see that we will end up with two different roots. So one of the roots is x is equal to 3 root 2, and the other root is x is equal to negative root 2. So if we know the roots, well then we can quickly write down what the factors are. So the factors would be x take away the root. So x minus negative root 2 would be x plus root 2 and x minus 3 root 2 is the other root. And we see we get the same answer as we did before, but maybe you're more comfortable with this approach.